My name is Kelly Edinger, and I am severely dyslexic, and I have ADHD. My entire experience with learning differences has been ironic. For example, it took me nine years to figure out how you spell dyslexia. <laughs> I was definitely driving the struggle bus on that one. <laughs> if you're confused on which learning difference dyslexia is, it is not dysgraphia, dyspraxia, or dyscalculia. Let me take the time to say whoever came up with the names for learning differences is a moron. <laughs> because it's not like the people you're diagnosing have issues with things that sound the same, are hard to write, and are hard to spell. <laughs> but how was I diagnosed? Well, the way they test kids for ADHD is they make them sit for hours and hours while testers make them do a series of learning exercises. So my diagnosis, at age five, went like this. Kelly, please look at the flashcard and tell me what you see. Hey, look, you have a Mickey Mouse dog. <laughs> Kelly, focus. Please look at the flashcard and then tell me what you see. I can't read the clock from here. Can I go over and look at it? Thanks. No, <laughs> Kelly, sit down. <laughs> Normal. 
alcohol. That's the drugs. <laughs>
Keep in mind, at this time, people were not diagnosed with ADHD. And her school told her parents something was wrong with her. So her mother took her to a specialist, and they talked about all of Jillian's problems. At the end of the meeting, the specialist asked Jillian's mother to step outside with him, and Jillian to stay in the room. As he left, he turned on the radio. When they were out of the room, the specialist said, just watch her. Jillian had begun dancing all around the room. The specialist turned towards Jillian's mother and said, Jillian's not sick. She's a dancer. Take her to a dance school. And she did. Jillian has said, I can't tell you how wonderful it was. We walked into this room, and it was full of people like me, people who couldn't sit still, people who had to move to think. Jillian has danced for the Royal Ballet created her own dance company, and has choreographed major shows like Cats and Phantom of the Opera. She is also a multi-millionaire. <laughs> Someone else might have put her on medication and told her to sit still and calm down. Right now, a lot of people see a kid with learning difference and think the solution is to shove a ton of medication down their throat, and that fixes everything. Honestly, I'm on medication, but it's because in order to succeed in the traditional education system we had, I need meds. I find it so funny in our education system today, with its millions of different students with different opinions, different backgrounds, and different experiences, we just assume that every child will interpret the question, the information, and the answer the same way. And that, and that because of that, we should teach all these different minds the exact same way. Isn't that ironic? My whole life, people have been telling me things about my own self-limitations and worth. You're not going to be able to do that. You're not that smart. You can't do anything you want. You can take a language class. You won't make it in the real world. Isn't it ironic how people like to try and determine others' self-worth? People will do this to you, too, because everyone has an opinion, and everyone feels the need to share it. <laughs> so, here's my message for you today. People are going to tell you that because of X factor, race, gender, grades, popularity, money, you're not going to make it in the world. And other people are going to tell you that X factor, race, money, grades, gender, popularity, won't affect you at all. Do me a favor and completely ignore both of these groups. Don't let people tell you what you can and what you can't do. You have to determine your own limitations and your own self-worth. ADHD and dyslexia don't diminish my self-worth. In fact, they are the parts of my identity that I value the most because they made me successful. Because of them, I know how to advocate for myself, how to fail, how to fight for what I want, how to be a creative problem solver, and how to accept myself. I look at today, and I see girls who are smart, beautiful, and talented. Don't let anybody convince you that you're not. I find too often that others try and define who you are and see you as flawed they're wrong. Differences don't diminish you. They make you you. So here I am, dyslexic, ADHD, different, weird, imperfect, and totally what I want to be. Thank you.